wake up in the morning thinking about guitar. I go to bed at night thinking about guitar. It's beyond just playing an instrument or having a hobby. It's my therapy. If I didn't have it, I don't know what I'd do. I was born in Waukesha, the same town where Les Paul's from. So I remember as a kid, I would see the Les Paul Parkway, which was the highway in Waukesha, and there was a Les Paul on it. And the funny part is, I knew the shape before I knew what it did. Near Waukesha, there's a guitar center. I asked to play one, the guy brought one down for me, and I remember when I picked it up, the first thing I noticed was, it was like the way, it was the way the neck felt in my hands. And I was young and I wasn't a great guitar player by any means, but I just knew that I was holding something special. It felt like the guitar was alive. And to me, that was the biggest quality that I looked for. And I would try other things. I really tried to get away from it, but it just kept calling back to me. The first guys I was listening to were Freddie King, Hubert Sumlin, everyone, Dwayne Allman from the Allman Brothers I was hearing, and they're all gold top players. I thought that like a guitar sounded one way, and then I saw all of these incredible players of all different genres playing it, and that's when I realized it was the ultimate weapon. So for me to have a signature gold glory, gold top custom, it's a dream come true. <laughs> Old Glory came about from Old Glory. So Old Glory was this shrouded black Les Paul custom. I created all of my riffs on it, all of my music, and you know, it was time to freshen it up. I wanted to keep the same vibe, the same feel of Old Glory, but something radically different. And an all gold gold top is just too cool. So that was the vision, and it was almost like a fresh take on something that I'd been doing for so long and a guitar that I've quite literally grown up with. So for me, Gold Glory is a real treat because it's a new lease on Old Glory. Something that's really, really cool about Gold Glory that I love is the fact that it's a Les Paul Custom, but it's a gold top. I'd never seen one before. So for me, it was really exciting when I opened the case to see Old Glory specs on a Les Paul Custom in an all gold gold top. It's like having a Les Paul Custom a Les Paul Standard, and a Les Paul Junior wrapped into one. With Gold Glory, what you're getting here is an amazing rock, blues, jazz, country, metal tone machine. Check this out. If I'm all the way up and I'm on a clean channel, I can get a really nice grit to it. Now check this out. If I roll the volume back to about nine, very simply, it almost gets like a country kind of you know, quacky sound. Bringing that tone all the way back, you get almost like a woman tone, like the Eric Clapton sound. It really has that nice muffle to it. You can do volume swells, those are cool. where you pick, everything matters with a guitar like this. This Gold Glory comes in double gold aged gloss. Full mahogany body, 
We have a big C-shaped profile neck. We have the Grover Rotomatic Tuners, ebony fingerboard, wide frets, which I love. And then moving down to the electronics, we have a Seymour Duncan Bridge Dog Ear P90, a Lightning Rat Bar Tail Piece, and a volume and a tone knob. The key to gold glory is the simplicity. I think that the thing that I want people to really get with Gold Glory is a sense of freedom. You do whatever you want, you play however you want, and everything is up to you.